All right, hey guys. Um, today, part two of the Ouija tour, and yes, I'm getting a lot of emails, a lot of crazy good emails with amazing, um, amazing um, stories. Um, small note, um, just anything you've learned, positive, positive side of Ouija. Um, is acceptable for the contest, so. Alright. How many did I show you guys yesterday? Three? Three. Okay. So today I'm gonna do two. Two or three, maybe. So. Give me two seconds and I will see. Okay. I am back. Alright, this is a uh, 1950s uh, William Fold, um, not Parker Brothers, um, Ouija that I actually purchased for 15, $10, $15? Perfect condition, I mean perfect condition. I love this board. And I actually think this one is wood or, yeah, it's, it's wood. It's just, it's, it's amazing. I love this one. And you can see down there that it's not made by Parker Brothers. It's a William Fold. But yes, I, I love my 1950s boards. I, I don't know why. Um, they are just very... They have that kind of mystical feel to them. Um, I noticed on the 1950s board, this one in particular, a planchette, it's like... a almost like a rubber mold so I'm not a hundred percent sure um, I did put new felt tips on the planchette so yeah no Parker Brothers you can't see really behind there no Parker Brothers it's all William Fold and it's missing the the eyepiece so perfect board um, I cannot believe I got this one for actually Ten, ten bucks. Ten bucks for a 1950s board. Very uh, smooth. And the imagery on this one is just like very dark. Very dark. Um, I love it. <laughs> it's very, uh, yeah, Ouija. All the way. So that is the 1950s board. Um, I, I, I don't know why. I just love that era. Love that particular other particular board and this one I actually got it off of Etsy um, and there was a story behind it the woman selling it she actually said it was haunted um, it's not haunted I'm sorry that sucks though too because yeah that would have been kind of neat but yeah this is supposed to be haunted uh, it's not sorry <laughs> So, yeah, look for your haunted items. Perfect. So, yeah, that's the 1950. Um, I don't understand, really, the, the D-Patent number 56,001. Um, the planchette with this does not match up with the D-Patent number on the board. The D patent number on the board is um, 114,534. So I, I, I don't know what any of that means, honest to God. <laughs> but yeah, that's one of my favorite boards that I just love to death. Okay, now this board took me quite a while to get. But it was a very, very, eh, it was kind of a tricky, tricky bargain. But it was totally worth it. Totally worth it. So this, all right, I'll show you the planchette first. Okay, this is 1938. Um, it's all wood. It is huge. Um, it will not fit in my videos, or I would use it. Um, it's the original wooden planchette. Still has the the little needle in there perfect condition I mean just amazing and again on this one the number 
does not match, or the D-patent number does not match the board. So this one is D-patent number 56001. But I just love these old ones. And just the little pegs are just amazing. But yeah, that one did not need replaced. It's still in like a perfect mint condition. So yeah, that's 1938. Okay, here's the board. And the funny thing is, with this board, um, my dear friend Sherry, whom I love and I miss you very much, miss your face, lady. Um, this board actually had them uh, winning lottery numbers backwards. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Because I want lottery numbers too. Now I'm not no appraiser or you know expert like a, a merch or anybody like that, but this is the biggest board I've ever had in my entire life. So that's an original, 1938 William Folk board. Um, perfect condition, amazing condition. The box is terribly beaten up, but. It is just amazing, amazing. Just the artwork and just how it looks. Very different from your everyday Ouija. So yeah, it's very heavy. Um, yeah, solid wood. Uh, it's very, very heavy. The back almost looks like a countertop. This is one of my very favorites. I love this one to death. Um, even though I don't use that one too much because it doesn't want to fit in my videos. I have another one. Um, I have the uh, the Hasco Mystic um, hand, not the tray, but the board. Um, that one. Um, actually, it's bigger than the 1938 board but it fits in my videos whereas this 1938 Ouija uh, William Volt board does not. Strange. Very strange. So yeah I think that's uh, pretty much it for today. I think two boards today would be, yeah, today is good for just two boards. So yes, um, if you guys really want to see the boxes, um, I will show them. I will definitely show the boxes. Um, and yeah, so, I don't know, had a whole bunch of amazing spooky stuff to say. No, not really spooky, but, and it just totally went out of my head. So that sucks, but yeah, that's my two, two of my favorite boards. And I'm going to say that about every single board, of course. Sorry, phone. Yeah, um, I might, I might show another one, maybe, maybe not, but all right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Sorry. Um, I love you all very, very, very much. And I will talk to you all later. And yes, thank you again for watching.